I need the mic, of course. Welcome to Worship Leader Hangout. My name's Chad. Today I'm so excited here because I'm going to show you how we set up five talkback mics from start to finish and why we set up so many. Let's go. We're going to get to the gear and the setup in just a second, so hang tight. But I think it's, it's good to talk about why we decided to dedicate five mics to be used as talkback. Now we didn't go buy a whole set of brand new mics just for this. No, I mean, let's be real. Talkback, having everybody use the talkback is not that important, but we decided that instead of just our MD use the talkback mic, we'd allow our drummer, our bass player, or our guitarist, whoever's in the middle of the stage, and our keys player, the sound guy, obviously, and then somebody holding the hand, here, sit down with me for a second. Somebody holding the handheld, uh, either backstage or, or front of house when we're doing sound check, something like that. They can have that handheld talk directly to us and we can hear and we can communicate what's going on. Also, having everybody join in on that conversation, not necessarily for everything that we talk about or everything that we're doing, either during a service or during rehearsal, but having the ability to come in and say whatever you need to say or, or make a point or just talk or ask for something uh, without having to make a distract or cause a distraction during service. I mean, it just, the, the, the overall communication on a Sunday morning and a rehearsal is just so much better. So um, we, what I meant by center of the stage we have a mic set up is sometimes we have a guitarist or a bass player, sometimes two guitarists and a bass player in the middle of the stage, and I have a mic set up and ready to go for them to use as talk back. And now these are fed directly to our ears, so nobody in the house obviously can hear this. Um, and then our sound guy has a mic set up on the actual soundboard itself. He can talk directly to us. Um, and then we also have our media personnel listen in, uh, and they can talk to us with the same mic on the, at the soundboard as well. We, we let them listen in to kind of hear what's going on and to be able to talk to them. Say we pull a song out of thin air, I can talk directly to our, uh, our on-screen media guy putting up words. I can say, hey, we're about to hit uh, Holy Ground or you know whatever song, and uh, he can know what's happening instead of having to send somebody all the way to the front just to be able to tell them one song, or I can just talk directly to them. So, so talk back mics can play an important role, especially on a Sunday morning if you have more of a, a, a free-flowing atmosphere and how things are ran. Um, it just, it just makes it overall so much better. So the mics we went with are actually pretty simple uh, when it comes right down to it. I didn't go with you know the latest and greatest or most expensive mics. I literally just got what was in our storage areas and what I had uh, left over from uh, what I wasn't using currently on stage and whatnot. So for example, uh, like this little black mic here, this is what we use on our soundboard. So the mic that's connected directly to the soundboard. This is a Natty CM88 um, condenser mic. A uh, little guy, it, actually we just slap it on this little stand here. There we go. And uh, we just sit that just like that right on the table right beside the soundboard and you know talk right into it now for the keys we went with a uh, the beta 87a and the reason why we went with these mics for the keys and for the bass player or whoever's in the middle of the stage is because i want to be able to transition these I want to be able to transition these into vocal mics if I absolutely need to again you can use any kind of mic you want to whatever you have laying around just put it on a stand put it in the middle of your stage put it at your keyboard and uh, go to town set it up just you know like the way we were talking about um, it doesn't have to be a good mic I mean it's talk back you just need to hear something out of that mic and with that said I want to show you this beautiful little guy right here it's an Audio Technica ATR 30 <laughs> this thing is old and I love this thing so much because I found it in the bottom of a, an old storage bin in one of our storage places in our church. And I said, you know, I probably will never use that mic, but I feel like there's a reason I need to keep it. So I kept it. I just uh, put it in our mic storage. And when I knew that I was ready to set up talk back for our drums, I actually grabbed one of these first and put it in there. And I was like, no, that'll there would be way too much sound from that. And I knew I couldn't compress it or limit that enough uh, to get rid of the sound and then him be loud enough for that mic to pick up if I did limit the sound from the drums. So anyway, so instead of bothering with all that stuff, I said, you know what? I have that little Audio Technica mic that has an on and off switch. Imagine that. So man, a drummer, he can just pick it up, turn it on, start talking. Now, of course, he won't be able to use it while he's playing uh, because he does have to flip that switch. So we just keep it on a small stand right beside the drums 
and uh, it makes for a perfect talkback mic uh, for drums because of that on and off switch. It doesn't matter that it's old because he's not even going to sing through it anyway. He just needs to talk. We just need to hear his voice. If you do have a lot of older mics that are just being you know, put in storage somewhere, those might be the perfect ones for talkback. Yeah, they're not pretty, but they work. The last one, I just mentioned this one a second ago. This is one of our handhelds. This is a Beta 87A, the uh, handheld version. And now we use these actually still for our, our main vocalist, but this makes a great mic for talkback because this is an extra one that we had. It is old, it is beat up. Um, the cap's already you know breaking on the bottom here. I have a new cap for it, but um, I, I have gaff tape right here where the, uh, the little screen part, it's all popping out and whatnot. So I just put a little gaff tape to hold it down, looks clean. But I just dedicated this to talk back, either for the center of the room, for our sound guy when he, uh, or when he's walking around with the iPad. It's great for during the service too, because your stage manager or somebody floating around the stage to help out when needed um, can just have this with them to talk directly to you or to anybody on stage or production. Um, it's just really nice to have a handheld talkback mic. That's pretty much it as far as the mics. They are not expensive. This one right here is 250 bucks. That might be a little pricey for some, but uh, this one right here, you could probably find this in your trunk if you go look hard enough. It's probably sitting there. This is probably in an old bag somewhere sitting in storage at your church. And then of course, we, ha we use the extra handheld. These are a little pricey, but uh, if you do have an extra handheld, put it in use. Don't let it just sit around. Don't let any of your mics sit around. That's why, that's why we're talking about this. You don't want any of your stuff just sitting around. If it is, just sell it. I mean, but if you do know you want to set up talkback mics, all those extra mics just sitting around, I, even if they're drum mics, as long as, as long as you can hear your voice clearly through those, just use them. Set them up. Set any, anything you have. Just set it up. You start using this stuff. And then you can get better stuff later on as the budgets get better, as more more money comes into the ministry. You can get better stuff. You can get nicer stuff. But right now, just use what you have. That's the biggest thing. That's the most important thing. Anyway, let's go set everything up on stage. Got it. All right, let's go. Okay, now we have all the cables ran. We have all the mics and stands put up. Now it's time to test them, make sure they work. What I wanna do is uh, go ahead and set up my talkback section on the board itself. So I'm gonna press this view button here. So I have in-ear set up in Mixbus one, two, three, four, and seven. Seven is the P16, that's that channel. So in our destination, our talkback destination A, I wanna select Mixbus one, two, three, four, and seven. Now what we do that's probably a little bit different from what you've seen is on TalkBack B, what I like to do is set up the exact same way. And the reason for that is when somebody's in a hurry, sound guy's in a hurry, they can just smash the button, start talking, and uh, you know not worry about which one they're pressing. So now what I'm gonna do is go over to, let's just start at channel 11. Uh, I have four channels uh, dedicated for TalkBack on the board. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and select channel 11 and that'll be for my keys. So the keys talkback mic is gonna be running to channel six on the stage box. So I wanna make sure I go ahead and configure that source. So if you, if you select home, I'll slow down a little bit. If you select home, slide over to configure your source, we're gonna go to a six and that's your stage box. So directly from your mic to your stage box, now to the board, all right? Now we're gonna go to setup and you can select your color. So we like green for talkback. So anytime I'm looking at the color green on the board, I know I'm looking at talkback. I like, I just like that, that idea. And then you can select your keyboard. We'll use this little jazz piano. And then I, also you're gonna to need to name it. And you can sit here and name it with this little silly encoder. Take 20 minutes. I'm gonna show you a little different way to label this, to make it a little bit easier. So channel 12 is our talkback at our bass player or our guitarist, whichever one is gonna be using the talkback. Select home, slide over to configure, and that is gonna be a seven. All right, now we go to setup. And you can set all that stuff up here. It's super quick to grab a color 
and you can even just slide on down to base. But what's great about setting this up with an iPad and being able to use an iPad with your system is you can select this channel. My iPad's a little bit older, so it's gonna take about 20 minutes for it to, to come up. You can select this channel. So I have channel 12, and I'm gonna click naming. Selected green, selected base, and I'm gonna type in all caps, talk back. I think I can only put in BAS. So there we go. So that's a lot easier and a lot quicker than you know using that encoder and typing it in that way. So we're, that's how we're gonna do it from now. All right, so let's just keep rocking and rolling. So channel 13, we have set up for drums. Now we're ready to go for drums. And let's go ahead and select channel 14. Figure, I'm just doing it both ways here. I think we have this on aux five. We have all of our handheld receivers under here and I have that running to aux five on the board itself. Uh, so under your source, just select aux five or wherever yours is ran. But I'm gonna select aux five, I'm gonna go ahead and go to setup, go to green. So now we have all of our talkback mics set up on the board, they're routed, they're ready to go, but now we have to get them to our ears. So let, let's go ahead and do that real quick. We'll just do that on the board itself. Um, I wanna make sure all of our talkback mics are in all of our in-ears and we can adjust those levels later uh, as far as like how much people want in their inner. But right now we just wanna make sure it's there, at least they can hear it uh, when we get started. So let's select mix bus one. I'm gonna flip those faders around. I'm gonna just push all these up uh, somewhere around there. Okay. Um, and so that way in in-ear one, uh, they can hear talk about keys, bass, drums, and uh, the handheld as well as they will be able to hear our talk back on the actual board itself because we set that before, just like I showed you before on that screen, we set it to mix bus one, as you can see there. Okay, let's get rid of that. So now I'm gonna go over to two, do the same thing. Talk mix bus three and four, and now mix bus seven. And mix bus seven, I'm gonna take all the way up to neutral, up to zero. Mix bus seven is routed uh, directly to our P16. On our P16, we have a nice label that says talk back and it's labeled green. Actually, if you wanna see how we label our P16s, I'll put a video up right there uh, and you can check that out. But on that, I have uh, one that's labeled talk back and all four of these are gonna to go to that one mix bus that then is routed uh, to the P16. So that way they can hear that. So I'm gonna give them a full signal and they can adjust that as they wish. Now let me show you how to set this up, this mix bus up for the P16 if you don't know how already. So let me go ahead and select this. And it's gonna be very similar uh, to the mic. So I'm gonna just make it green. We could do this on the iPad, but I'm already right here and just label that talk back. Just in case you don't know how to take that mix bus to your P16, I'm gonna show you real quick. Uh, click on routing, slide over to Ultranet, because that's where your P16 is being fed from. And then I believe ours is set up as channel 11 on the P16. Yeah, channel 11 on the P16. And then if, if yours is not already set up, it's gonna be selected as off. So then what you're gonna to need to do is slide that all the way down to mix bus seven, voila. Check, 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 testing, talk back drums, talk back drums. All right, so we got our mic set up, ready to go for Sunday. And uh, if you have any questions about how we do this, maybe I didn't answer something you wanna know, just put it in the comments below, I'll be happy to answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'll see you in the next video, but remember great worship leaders are always learning. Have a great day, guys. Huh? Oh, oh, hold on. Welcome to worship leader. God, that was so exaggerated. Let's let film the room for a second.